show you fine looking individuals i'm gonna go over some of the best bow builds for monster Hunter rises 3.0 update and we're gonna start right now if this is your first time here and you want to know more about monster Hunter rise among other video games fully optimize the decoration slots by hitting that like and subscribe button let's get into it let's go over some rapid bow builds with this new rapid bow set we have full elemental attack Constitution level 4, Weakness Exploit level 3, Stamina Surge level 3, Shot Type up level 3, in this case Normal Rapid, Attack Boost level 2, Critical Boost level 1, and Bow Charge Plus. Keep in mind, some of these builds are Talisman dependent. This first Rapid Bow build uses a Rapid level 2 Talisman with 2 slots. It's a pretty sweet Talisman. But if you don't have this Talisman, don't worry, I got you covered. But if you do have this Talisman or one like it, this build uses the Mighty Bow Feather, the Vake Mail S, slotted with Normal Up, Weakness Exploit, and Elemental Attack, Rock Knot Arm Guard, slotted with Weakness Exploit, and Janath Coil, slotted with Critical Boost and 2 Elemental Attacks, Rock Knot Greaves, slotted with 1 Elemental Attack, and that normal wrap it up level 2 with a level 2 slot, I have weakness exploit. And because I have a level 1 slot, I'm going to add another elemental attack, which gives me 5 elemental attack. This allows me to have full elemental attack, constitution level 4, weakness exploit level 3, stamina surge level 3, shot type up level 3, attack boost level 2, critical boost level 1, and of course, charge bow plus. If you don't have that weakness exploit talisman, don't worry, got you covered. If you have a constitution level 2 talisman with at least a level 2 slot, you're able to do this next build. This build uses the mighty bow feather, the vake mail S with rapid up level 1, weakness exploit level 1, and elemental attack, vague braces S with elemental attack and a bonus level 1 slot, you can use reload speed if you want, Anjanath coil S with a weakness level one slot and two elemental attack rockna greaves with one elemental attack and our constitution level two talisman with the weakness exploit slot in there that gives us full elemental attack constitution level four weakness exploit level three rapid up level three attack boost level two stamina surge level two bow charge plus and i was able to get reload speed level two reload speed level two is the maximum you want for a bow user why is that as you can see reload speed level two loads bow coding automatically it's going to be saving you precious frames when you need to change coatings. Let's go over some spread and pierce builds. Like many builds, this one's also talisman dependent. I got lucky enough to roll a level 3, level 2, and level 1 slotted talisman. So essentially, this can replace the Vake Mail S, or the Chrome Metal Coil, or the Girototus Van Braces, which are armor pieces with three slots on them, which is a level 3, level 2, and level 1 slot. This build uses Mighty Bow Feather for Bow Charge Plus, Vake Mail S for Shot Type Up, Weakness Exploit, and Elemental Attack, Rock to Arm Guards with Critical Boost, Chrome Metal Coil with Shot Type Up Level 1, Weakness Exploit Level 1, and Elemental Attack Level 1, Rockna Greaves with Elemental Attack, and the three slotted talisman with Shot Type Up Level 1, Weakness Exploit, and Elemental Attack. This gives you full Elemental Attack, Constitution Level 4, Weakness Exploit Level 3, Shot Type Up Level 3, Critical Boost Level 1, and Bow Charge Plus. If you don't have a three slot talisman, you can use one with a level three slot and the level two slot. What's the most important is that you have a level three for your shot type and level two for your weakness exploit. Like this talisman right here with a level three slot and a level two slot, I can still put a shot type up and weakness exploit on this, just missing out on the elemental attack. For example, I have a weakness exploit two talisman with a level three slot, which actually might augment my set even better. And just like the pierce example, you can use the same build for spread bow. All you have to do is change the level 3 slots from Pierce Up to Spread Up. Let's try out this new bow set on this quest, A Quartet of Horns. If you don't quite have the materials or talismans to make this set, I have a video right here that can help you build some really good sets. What bow builds do you like to use? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching another Pokeboogie video. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.